Hello, welcome to uh, Jim's uh, call-in. I'm going to be doing this a little bit more often in the future. It's great to touch base with you. Uh, we asked yesterday if you got any questions, and we're going to have these regularly. So if, if you have any questions uh, after this or anything that comes up, you know, let me know. And I'm going to we just have a casual uh, chat every week and address some things. Uh, so this is a great opportunity for both of us, you know. So uh, here's some questions. I'll deal with them one by one. Um, the first question we got here is... Um, what is the simplest way to make money online for someone who is no longer a spring chicken in age? Well, you know, I, uh, I hear you. I feel, <laughs> I've, uh, I'm 51, um, so I know absolutely where you're, you're coming from. Um, whenever I start to think about, you know, age and am I too old, you know, because it crosses all our minds, you know. Um, whenever things like that cross my mind, I'm reminded of uh, a couple of people, and it's a fast food industry story, um, Colonel Sanders of Kentucky Fried Chicken was 65 years old when he spe when he began that uh, franchise. He had he just had a secret recipe. I'm not saying you have to start an empire like that. I mean, you could, but you know, I'm just letting you know. I mean, Ray Kroc was my age, and he was a milkshake machine salesman uh, when he discovered uh, the McDonald's brothers. So, you know, don't let age uh, be a be a factor. What you should be seeing age as is um, as a you, what you've got is the benefit of experience, and the trouble is, is if we let what is a, a vast you know tr a treasure trove of experience now that's made you wiser, if you what you've got to be careful of is that you don't cross the line into cynicism, because it, naturally the more experience you have, the more you know, knocks you have, the more darker side of life you've seen. So don't, you, but, so use the positive, focus on the positive always. And the positive is, is you have a, a wealth of experience. You've made a lot of mistakes. And when you know what not to do, you know what to do. So always see the positive. You've got a lot of experience now. And uh, so take that just, just on the thing of age generally. So the simplest way to make money online I mean, whether it's, so age is not a factor, whether it's, you know, whether you're, uh, you know, 16 or 60, the simplest way to make money online. Uh, well, there's a variety of ways and there's a variety of products that we got um, you know, to, to help people with this. Um, the, the, the quickest way, of course, I mean, it depends on what you want to do. You want to raise some, some quick cash, you can always sell your items on social media. Um, see, social media is obviously, you know, so traditionally, it's more of like a build-up thing. So that that's a slow way. But the quickest money making money online is um, you can become an affiliate for a lot for a lot of things. And um, a few products we've got actually address this. We've got instant internet income. Um, there's uh, so you know we will we will whoever anyone asks this question, we will send you a, a list of something. And I tell you, there's a thing in a second I want to show you, which is. Uh, come up and it's going to show the entire catalog of all our products um, and some of them absolutely geared towards you know making money online so it's a very big subject um, to to answer in one session but the the best answer is to show you all the stuff we can give you on making money online the important thing is that's come up and don't let age be, you know, be a factor so question number two um, I've never started a business of any kind I'm over 60 years old what type of uh, online or stay-at-home business would you highly recommend? So similar answer to the first one. Notice how age has come up again. And, you, you know, you, you're you putting... Don't put obstacles in your way. You know, you've got to... You, you will focus on the thing you want to happen, the thing that... Not the thing you don't want, want to happen. Um, and the more you start telling... You've got to be mindful of your thoughts. The, the more that you keep telling yourself... I'm this age thing in a negative way, that the, the more you're going to get more of the same. Whatever you, you know, you have to set a, a goal and, uh, and just be focused on it. Um, so never, never starting a business of any kind isn't, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, and age shouldn't be. And again, I'm gonna talk about a big range of, of all our different products at the end. Um, but let's talk about, you know, I've never started a business of any kind. Um, I think there's a lot of um, 
feeling out there that you must have gone to a business school. You've got to have a marketing degree. This is a huge myth in, in uh, particularly in uh, you know, American society where you have to have gone to school to be able to you know, know stuff. I mean, I know people who you know, have come out the other side of business school. I've hired them and fired them. And, it, and it's, it, it's, it's never impressed me that you're not really taught you know, the things that you really need to know. I mean, frankly, you'll learn more at one of my live events or in one of my products about business in like one hour than you will in one year easily of business school in terms of what it really takes to make money. Um, so lack of experience in business, lack of education, don't let these things uh, get in the way. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, and it can be an overwhelming thing, you know. It's like, oh, what, where, how do I begin? You know, and that, but that, and that's the great question: how exactly do you begin? You don't need to see the whole staircase, just one step of the staircase at a time, and that's we structure all of our training so that uh, that is exactly how it is. It's everything is presented in a one, two, three step format, so you don't see, you know, too look too far ahead and get overwhelmed. Just just take it one step at a time. I mean. Yeah, you know, the first step is to you know just decide what you're going to do. When that is a huge question uh, in itself, uh, and that requires a bit of soul searching. That um, I dig into every uh, year at the annual wealth summit, and I will be doing uh, this year as well. We're going to come on to that in just one second. Uh, so another question here, also from uh, your business info programs, uh, which ones have gotten the most testimonies from customers' success? Um, we, we've just got uh, really across the board. It's hard to pin, pin one down. I guess that if you would have to point to something that is getting the most testimonies because the results are so uh, easy and instant, that would have to be like, you know, with the several, um, stock trading services we provide when it's, it's literally everything done for you. We just say, buy this stock now, sell it then, take the profit. And that's got like an 82% strike rate and the trade isn't open for more than a few weeks. And uh, the average loss is only 3%. It only happens 18% of the time. So there's obviously instant, easy results there. And so naturally you get the most, we get a flood of testimonials about that. <coughs> um, <coughs> which really brings me on to this next question that's come up. Um, it seems like all your programs have to do with trading um, a lot of people are either not comfortable with trading or have no interest in it uh, and so on. Um, is there anything you got that doesn't have anything to do with trading uh, that's not e that's easy, it's easier on the bank account and the brain? Do you have something like that? So um, I hear where you're coming from, uh, but um, that we don't have, we, like I was just explaining, we, our stock trading services is like you don't need to know all this complicated stuff. All you need is a stock trading account that we tell you how to open and you follow like idiot proof instructions, like buy this stock, then sell it then. I mean, anyone like a child could do that. So it doesn't have to be taxing. I mean, you know, even when you, even when we teach how to do it, we make it so, especially if you watch things on video or like one of my seminars, you know, we make it very, very, I take things down to the, the basic. Um, but also thirdly, I mean, um, it's, it's, that's actually not true that um, all our programs have to do with trading. Uh, we cover a wide variety of subjects. We've got um, there's business, home businesses, internet marketing, um, wide things. We cover real estate and motivation. And again, you know, if, you, if you attend one of my live events, uh, which we will be doing this year, um, uh, actually remotely though from like a, like a you know like a virtual event but it's still a two-day seminar which we have you may have heard of it called the annual wealth summit which we're bringing back this year um you'll see that we cover a lot of it's a huge uh, spectrum of things but let's not you know push stock trading out and write it off just because you think it's complicated because actually you know it, it, it isn't the way we explain it especially if we just tell you what to do if you want to make money there's only there's only three legal paths you can go you can it's business there's real estate and, uh, you know, aside from things you can't control like lottery and so on, but there's business, real estate and um, investment trading. So it's one of the what I call the three pillars of, you know, getting getting what you want uh, financially. So you can't just like, you know, push it off because, you know, it's funny. It comes up a lot. People, a lot of people say, oh, I have no interest in, you know, stock trading. 
Well, guess what you do? Because guess where all that money goes that you give to the bank and then your pension fund and all these, you know, you know, glossy little investment fund account, sort of product that the bank sells you. Um, you know, you all all that money is in the stock market. So you you and they the people who are managing it, it's proven for decades that they actually don't do a very good job with it. So have at least a basic interest and appreciation for you know trading the stock market. You know, and I like that's why I make I make it very easy for you. You can be as involved or as involved as you want because like it or not, you are interested in trading in the stock market. So this next question, we are in very transformative times with technology and the speed of which people expect things in today's age. With what we are experiencing with blockchain, digital assets, Web 3.0, it's a lot of this, you know, the names that you know, a lot of people are still unfamiliar with. How do you see the coming years and generation of wealth being created and transferred from the baby boomers to the younger generation, how they see the world and store of value today? Well, it's a very deep and topical uh, question there are huge huge cataclysmic changes of in force here and uh, the way that we view money in the future which is something I've been saying now you know for years at uh, the annual wealth summit was that uh, is bound uh, inevitably going to change and you cannot uh, get left behind uh, in terms of that knowledge both in terms of a not as an opportunity and you know you cannot be you know ignorant of because uh, the world is you know uh, changing so uh, so massive massively um if they're going to talk about you know generation of wealth created transferred you know that that whether it's the baby boomers or the younger generation um i think uh it's it's, it's going to affect everybody um and this is going to be i i've been saying for a while and this is going to be a very transformative uh, and disruptive decade that is also means there's going to be huge opportunities for people who you know can can read between the lines and see what's going on so it's a very important question and it has a requires a very um big answer uh that I, we're going to address again you know in the annual wealth summit um but yeah digital assets it's, we're talking about all the cryptocurrencies uh think about Imagine if you can remember the 1990s. Take yourself back to like mid 90s, 1995, when everyone was scratching their head, asking, you know, what's the internet? You know, what's email? Uh, what's a website? You know, what? I don't really get this. What's what's going on? But we all sensed there was huge changes afoot. The same thing is happening now, only instead of in, what's the internet, it's what's the blockchain. And it's not what's a website, it's what's a cryptocurrency. And those, those have a similar relationship there. Because a blockchain is really just something that facilitates a cryptocurrency. The internet is just something that facilitates a website. The internet it was here to stay. Some websites will come and go, as we now know. Uh, blockchain is here to stay. Cryptocurrencies will come and go. So it's a similar opportunity. Can you imagine, you know, back in the day when nobody had heard of Yahoo, or Amazon, and all these companies like that? Uh, can you imagine buying those companies cheap? So the same opportunity is now, um, and now one of our jobs we're taking very seriously here, and it's, you know, showing you know showing you you know is you know which cryptocurrency to to get in on and which not to. It's really a, just another form of trading. You just you're buying a digital asset. Uh, we're dedicating a whole section of of this uh, on the second day of this year's annual wealth summit. Um, I've heard about an award you give out each year. How do I apply for that and what do I do uh, to receive it? Yeah, so that's called the Legacy Award. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to, I'm going to, this is also even, you know, whether you want to get the award or not, what it is, it's a, it's a, basically you get every single product along as well as a recognition award for, you know, dedication to uh, success. You're also going to get every single product we have ever made and it will ever make in the future. We come out with a new one and you get it for free. But also, I mean, even if you're not interested in that, um, you're going to receive an invitation, I think, this weekend as it happens for this. And this is a great way because perhaps some people are asking, what products do you have for this? And what products do you have that do that? This is a great way, for, if nothing else, for you to view our entire catalogue. And you can go down the list and say, oh, that that's, you know, there's a home, mate, there's a home business one, there's a trading one. That's the sort of thing because this invitation you're going to get explains every single product we have 
and what it does. So, you know, you might go down the list and, you know, choose a couple, email us uh, let, or call us, let us know. I'd like to get, I'd like to get that one, please. Um, but the best deal is, is the legacy award when you get everything. Um, and again, final question, will he be doing a live event this year? Absolutely. Um, in uh, December the uh, 4th and 5th, but you don't have to leave your house. In past events, we've had them live and we are in a, in a, in a place you have to fly to, get a hotel. This year it's virtual, uh, so you can attend this year's annual Wealth Summit from the comfort of your own home, same sort of hours, 9 to 5, Saturday and Sunday, um, with the same great content. And uh, whether you can whether you can attend or just receive the DVDs, uh, you get you, well, that, that's up to you. But it will be live. It's not recorded. It's absolutely live. It's a Zoom event, Zoom call, uh, so you can enjoy it the same way you've always done in the past. If you haven't been before, uh, great opportunity. And but we'll be talking about that um, later in November. Before then, uh, just as a as a thank you, and uh, before we sign off, uh, look out for the first two weeks in November. I know we've had a We've had our, everybody's had a rough couple of years with, uh, you know, COVID. So just as a thank you and as a little uh, token of encouragement and gratitude, well, I'm going to be sending you a series of no strings, free gifts by email uh, for the first two weeks in November as a, as a little holiday, holiday thank you. And, uh, and uh, again, you know, our appreciation, for, you know, being there, sticking with us, uh, through these uh, these difficult times, and you know, here's to much greater times because you know I think uh, this is going to be a great comeback story now. And if you're here, positioned, uh, ready to enjoy, I think it's going to be a huge bounce back comeback in 2022. It's going to be a great opportunity, and we'll be honoured to uh, guide you through that. So thanks for the questions. Thanks for joining me on the call, and I'll speak to you soon.